Over 500 entries for only 34 spots. For some, it will fulfill a lifetime dream, and for others, it will be another year of heartache. Every year, young ladies from all over the world gather in Tampa, Florida for their one shot to be part of something special. For some, it's been a year of planning, contemplating, training, and wondering, what if? For these ladies, everything they've been working for will be put to the test in the next three weeks. There are sure to be tears of disappointment, along with tears of joy. But for all of these ladies, all they are looking for is one chance. A chance to be a part of the NFL's elite. A chance to be a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleaders. fans, my name is Rachel Watson. For four years, I had the privilege and honor to call myself a Tampa Bay Buccaneers cheerleader. I've traveled to some fantastic places all over the world and met some amazing people. But most of all, I had the chance to cheer for my favorite team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The feeling of cheering in front of 60,000 fans at Raymond James Stadium is indescribable. And for some of these ladies, they will soon know what it feels like. Every year, there are changes with each squad, and this year, there is a change at the very top with first-year cheerleading manager, Katherine Boyd. Katherine was a former Buccaneers cheerleader. She was a member of the team for five seasons, and we were teammates my second year. The preliminary round is different this year. We're having it at one Buccaneer place, which is new. We've never done that before. And instead of the women coming in and learning choreographed material, they're coming in and freestyling, so the process is a lot shorter and um, it's pretty neat to have it back here at our facility. We decided to open up the preliminary rounds to three um, open days just um, so women, if they had work or school um, commitments, that they would have other opportunities to come. Um, so we had three separate days with two time slots each day, so hopefully they were able to make it out one of those days. As Kathy mentioned, the first round auditions are held at our team headquarters, One Buck Place. The audition process is pretty simple. The girls start in this room right here. Then they have to make the way backstage to our auditorium. But first, they have to travel down this long hallway. I'm sure it seemed a lot longer than it actually was. I was kind of getting nervous but excited at the same time and then you get to the door and wait and you're like okay come on let me in there and dance. I think the corners were the worst part of it. I was like is it going to be behind this corner? It was like, kind of like a door number three kind of thing but um, um, it was it was a little nerve-wracking but it was it was good when I finally got on that stage so. <laughs> what music are they going to play? What's going to be my first dance move? Am I going to completely freeze? That might be a few of the things that are going through their mind but what it all boils down to is is that you need to be yourself and you need to let your personality show. For the preliminary round we're really looking to just see the candidates natural movement. We don't need to see a really strong technical dancer at this point. We just want to see if they're able to keep um, rhythm and looking at their fitness level. You know, our cheerleaders are out on game day cheering for four hours in 120 degree weather, so that's important. And just their energy and if they're engaging to the judges, just really a well-rounded type of performer. Each year the squad changes. For one reason or another, girls choose to move on. But for some, they choose to give it another shot. One of those is my former teammate, Millie. This year was very different from last year in the tryouts, auditions. Did you like them better or how did you feel about them? You know, I was still just as nervous as I've always been, um, but you know, the process being so quick really made it easier, I thought, because um, years past you've had to wait so long that first day and your nerves just get the best of you. So here it was just really quick and you just went in and you try to impress them as much as you can and you just go home. I do enjoy learning chore choreography from other people, but I think today you just had to be on your toes and ready for you know what was going to happen. I kind of planned in my head some 
a little bit of choreography, but when I got out there, I ended up kind of making it up on the spot, which was fun. I think it's a little easier um, starting off with a freestyle. It gets very nerve-wracking, um, trying to learn a routine, and there's hundreds of girls next to you. It's very nerve-wracking, and it's a little so, intimidating. I think I got incredibly lucky because, I, like I said, I was with a friend, so... Um, and also, I liked that it was only two. I felt more like um, the judges had an opportunity to, to see what I brought to the table, so I think it was good. I actually was really excited about the way that they did auditions this year because I feel that um, w when you just go and kicks are the first impression you get to give, you don't always really get to show your full potential to the judges. So even though this is very short, I feel like you get a, a much better shake at really just showing yourself to the judges. Honestly, I didn't even notice the girl next to me. I just, I felt like I was up there by myself. And plus I heard that last time it was, girls were there all day. So I'm sure, like me, I was nervous first going in there, but it was so quick and then now I'm out and it was much easier. <laughs> I think I like this year better because you actually, when you're waiting around for so long, you either get yourself psyched out or then you're like, if you perform first, then you're envious of the girls who have more time to practice. So I kind of think it's fair, you're in, you're out. You get to show the judges like what you can do and the freestyle gives you a chance to like show what you can do without having to like memorize steps. Like I said, each year there are changes. Hmm, what do you think? Well, one thing that doesn't change is that those vets, they're coming back for their spot. Any candidate that made it past this round definitely has some competition waiting for them. I want to become a Buccaneers cheerleader because I think that the girls are really good role models for younger girls. I just think it would be such a great experience um, to be involved with the community and be out on the field and performing in front of all the Buccaneers fans. And I'm a um, Tampa Bay native, so I am a Bucks fan. So I just think it would be a great experience. Well, the truth is, this is my seventh audition in 10 years. I haven't made it yet. I've made it all the way to training camp, and I've been cut on the first day. But you know, a person like me doesn't try out as many times for as long as I have, unless you really believe that you can win, and I'm here to win. Well, you know, I took a year off, and um, I really missed it. I, I missed dancing on the field and performing for our fans, and I just really would love the opportunity to do it again. It's a new, fresh year, and I'm just excited to be here. Congratulations to everyone who had enough courage to come to auditions. That was by far the hardest part. If this wasn't your year, don't give up. We hope to see you next year.